Many technicians determine if the caliper is a good operation or not by just pushing the piston in. And if it pushes in easily, they figure, okay, the caliper's in good shape. That's not necessarily the truth. You have to determine if the square cut seal inside that caliper can actually retract that piston back in after the driver hits the brake pedal. Now it doesn't do it much, but it is enough that you can see it. So what really the, the best way to check a caliper operation is to have somebody in the vehicle, I, I'm gonna have them hit the brake pedal, I'm gonna watch the piston come out and apply the brakes, then I'm gonna have him take his foot off the brake pedal and I should visually see that piston relax back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I need a light here to see it. Okay, Frank, go ahead hit the brake pedal. Okay, I see it, I see it come out. Take your foot off the brake pedal. And I see it relax back in. So this caliper is operating correctly. Now I'm also gonna look for leaks, but this is the, one of the most important things of caliper operation is for the piston to go back into the housing to release the brake pads off the rotor. For the technicians that really want to measure this amount of movement in, in the caliper, you can hook up a dial indicator like I got it here. Now, the only thing I'm going to say though is when you have your assistant hit the brake pedal, don't have him push it to the floor, he'll pop the piston out of here. So, so you want to have your assistant push the pedal down until you measure, well, probably 10, 15 thousandths movement of that piston. Then have him release the brake pedal. The, Piston should retract back into the caliper housing anywhere between four to six thousandths. That is a good operating caliper.